Oh boy. So many guns that won't fit on one table. Or a table and improvised one for that matter. Comrades, this is I'm Gaming Caleb back with part two, of the Call of Duty 4 special in HDVR. Last video we showed off the pistols, SMGs, and shotguns. Now we're showing off the assault rifles, snipers, machine guns, and launchers. As I mentioned before, most of the guns in Call of Duty 4 are in HDVR. I'll be again with a few caveats and exceptions. We'll get to that later. But uh, let's get to the real meat and potatoes here. You know, come on. Real meat and potatoes. Used to saying that by now. Anyway, let's start with the rifles and of course, gold tried and true M4A1. We all know about this gun by now. Very symbol of the American military. I've already done a video of this long ago, so. Feel free to check that out if you wish. Now let's go on to some weapons I haven't showed off. Well, I guess we can start with the... Well, I already showed this off, actually. The AKM. Which, uh, the actual gun in the game is the AK-47. Quote-unquote. But, uh... Yeah. You know about this gun, too? The ultimate bad guy gun. That's how everyone in the back of the day. Before this became a thing. I love firing the AK. Love this gun. But anyway, let's get on to some of the other guns. Let's start off with the Heckler & Coke G36C. They have a different beast than the M4, isn't it? it uses some proprietary magazine. Has a folding stock. And uh, has a bunch of Picatinny rails you can put just about anything you want. You want to put a grenade launcher on here, you can. A laser sight, you can. You want to put a scope on here, you can. Yeah, semi auto, full auto, of course, a charging handle up here. A lot of people don't notice the G360 does have a uh, bolt release, it's actually right there in front of the trigger. Very interesting gun, nice and compact too. Very, very cool. Now, to the other military uh, weapon of choice for the military, the M16. More specifically, the A4 variant. This is the one that's uh, burst fire. Considered by many one of the best assault rifles in Call of Duty history. The effect is just blatantly overpowered. You know what really cool? If you do a last round bolt hold open, like you just slam the M16 down and then it will move the bolt forward. Check out Brennan Herrera's video regarding that. Anyway, get to some more uh, guns. The G3. Well, this is specifically G3 A3, but uh, this is what we have, so this is what we're using. Yeah, basically, the MP5 fired 7.62 by 51 millimeter. We'd have this gun. Now, in the actual game, the gun was semi-auto only. And you can load it like that. And this is actually a gun that's returning in Modern Warfare 2, 2022. And of course, in that game, the HK Slap, it's gotta be there. It just has to. Is that a different name too? The Lockman 762 or something? Alright, now this one is a rather interesting weapon. This is the AKS 74U, commonly just referred to as the AK 74U in just about every Call of Duty it's appeared in. 
There's no such thing as an AK-74U. It's based on an airsoft gun. It actually comes to AKS-74U. Now, unlike the AK-47, which fires 7.6 by 39, this is 5.45 by 39. So, different round, but classic AK design and reliability. There's also a tactical version, which uh, actually has rails and stuff. Yeah, AKS 74U, not AK 74U. Get it right, Activision, Infinity Ward, Treyarch, Sledgehammer, whoever's making Call of Duty next year. Oh, yeah, it's not gonna be a Call of Duty next year. Yeah! Anyway, now, you're gonna notice this gun here, the MP44. Like, why the heck are you showing this? Did you show it off in the Vanguard video? I did, but I'm showing it off again because this is in Call of Duty 4 as well, as an Easter egg weapon. It's one of the last weapons you unlock. But yeah, one of the first, if not the first, assault rifle ever made. And yeah, it's included as a bonus weapon in COD 4. Before the AK-47, there was this. No, no, it's a shame it was introduced too late to make that much of a difference. But as soon as Russia defeated the Nazis and saw this, they made the AK-47, the rest is history. Okay, now we're going to the snipers. Now this one's a little cheating. This is the M14. There are actually two different versions of this gun caught for. There's the, the M14, which is in the assault rifle category, for some reason. And the M21, which is a sniper variant, which has a scope and a lot of small magazine. But it's practically the same gun. Just designed for a different purpose. Of course, the M14 is capable of full auto, but uh, we're not going to be doing that. We're going to the way it's intended to be fired: semi-auto. Gotta love that uh, 762 round. Now, another sniper, another another infamous gun: Dragunov. Dragunov. A lot of people say Dragunov, but no matter what the actual pronunciation is, Dragunov. But yeah, as far as a 7.62 by 54 millimeter round, the same round that the Mosin the Gant fires. You know, instead of a bolt action, World War II, it's a semi auto sniper system in the modern day. Nice. See if we can hit that farther target up there. Probably not. Hit it once. Everything changes. Yeah, it's basically the AK of the sniper family. And now this one's interesting. Now there are two bolt actions in Call of Duty 4. There's the uh, M48 III and the Remington 700. Neither of those in the game, but we do have. I can grab the handle. Is the M48 I. Very very powerful gun here. Now this here is chambered in 7651. That's what you expect. I forgot how many rounds this holds. It's been a while since I fired this gun. Ah, six rounds. Yeah, has a sniper built in. And for some reason there's a round jiggling inside. I don't think that happened in Call of Duty 4. Okay then. Anyway, let's get to shooting. Very high zoom on this scope. But naturally, I can't aim with a shit. Yeah, let's uh, stop firing before I burn plus even more. And now, let's get to the big boy, the Barrett. The Barrett 50 cal. This is the M107A1. Of course, you know about the Barrett, chambered in 50 BMG. There's all types of uh, 50 BMG rounds, and it is a quite a huge gun. I can't imagine holding this in real life, because this is 
fairly heavy gun. Not only that, but the recoil, ooh, even with this uh, recuperating barrel, and recoil on this thing, the... So we fire it from a prone position because... It does not feel that bad. Well, this is a VR gun, but whatever. Again, I can't aim worth a shit. So that's it for the quote unquote small arms. Now let's get to the big boys. The machine guns. And uh, actually, before we continue, we're going to show off the grenade launchers. Yes, in the uh, where it is a car for, you can equip a grenade launcher your guns. And it's a rather infamous attachment, I will admit. Because basically, uh, you just spam grenades to your heart's content. This is definitely a problem with some of the smaller maps. It really got bad in Modern Warfare 2. I'm sure you all know, one man army, danger close. But uh, noob tube hype began with COD 4. And of course, it's not just the M203. You also have the GP25, though the game, one of the games, the GP30. Yeah, I got the classic one, because, well, we're dealing with the uh, AK-47s that didn't have uh, picky tanny rolls back in the day. You get the... Oh, that ejects it. You have to flip that switch there before you can fire it. Yeah, the M203 doesn't have a safety. This does. That's one thing I'm going to get the Russians. Also, caseless grenades. So, unlike the M203, we have to open it, eject the spent cartridge, load another one in. Here, just pop into the barrel, and you're good to go. Interesting. Now, let's get to the machine guns. And this one I did a video of a while back. The M249 Saw. I'm sure you're all familiar with this by now. Came back in 2019 as a Bruin MK9. Never unlocked that gun. I don't think I ever will. Challenge is ridiculous. But yeah, 100 rounds, 5.56x45. Insane rate of fire. Not the most widely used gun in the game, but uh, still a fun gun to fire. Oh man, I think you feel alive. Now let's get to the Rambo gun, the M60E3. Another infamous gun, uh, wasn't the best gun to use, mainly because of the iron sights, and so much slow rate of fire. But it's an M60, come on. You know, if you grew up in America, you should know by now the M60 is the hog, you know, we're using Vietnam. Yeah, these sights here, yeah. Not the best to use. Still fun gun to shoot, though. In fact, it's so good, it's actually still being used today, albeit in a different version. Yeah, I can fire that all day, but we gotta move on to the other guns. The RPD. Yeah, there are only three LMGs in COD 4. Before, you know, nowadays, we have like six or seven, or if you're lucky, eight. In Call of Duty 4, only three. And this was the LMG of the bad guys. And before the PKM and RPK, we got this. But this is actually one of the best guns in COD 4, if I recall. I remember seeing this a lot back when I played it. Imagine in Call 4 Remastered, oh boy. I can only imagine the torment. Went that pretty quickly. Alright, so that's it for the LNGs now. Last but not least, the launchers. Now I'm taking I'm gonna show off one because we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, the RPG-7. Come on. Surely you know about this gun by now. RPG-7, Russian rocket launcher.
funny thing, a lot of the games don't showcase that you have to prime the gun to here before you can fire it. Oh yeah, RPGs. And final gun to show off, we're not gonna fire it though, is the FIM-92 Stinger. Now this, the reason I'm not firing it, it's an anti-air rocket launcher and See any uh, airplanes flying around? No. But uh, this gun does work, but only in certain uh, maps, such as, uh, you know, the sample plot or whatever it's called. But uh, how this works is you put in this uh, coolant case in here, and you have to. Yeah, you have to turn it on. And you have to look through the scope up here, and when you see a target, you have to keep it just in that crosshair there. And then once the once they hear a beep, you fire it, and then it destroys target. But you have a limited time because uh, it's way too long. It'll shut off, and you have to replace the coolant in here. But yeah, you can only use this gun against aircraft here, which that's what it's designed for. So anyway, not the most special of videos, but I don't care. I wanted to do it. That's it for this uh, Call of Duty 4 special. And again, I can't believe it's been 15 years since Call of Duty 4 came out. And the upcoming release of Modern Warfare 2 2022 has some people excited, some eh. You know, I've heard some good things about the beta, some bad things. But you're going to have to wait and see when the game comes out, how it's going to play out. And no, I'm not going to buy it day one. I'm going for it to go on sale. The more into the Modern Warfare series and Black Ops or, you know, whatever Triarchs are doing these days. But anyway, this is Undoing Caleb signing out. Have a good day.